Yo. Uh, so, I saw Gran Torino today. Um, I th at like 1 o'clock or so. Sorry, it's taking so long to get it up, but I was just kind of lazy. So, anyway. So, Gran Torino. It is Clint Eastwood's new movie. Yes, Clint Eastwood. And he is the main character in this movie. He is like 80 years old now. And he is still kicking. So, I mean, this is... First off, I just want to say... Um, for Benjamin Button... I thought that Benjamin Button was probably the best movie of 2008. Yeah, I think it's a lot better than Dark Knight and all that. But, I mean, Gran Torino... I think it would be a it would be a close tie, or I think this might this might even be better than Benjamin Button in my opinion. But anyway, I'll do a Benjamin Button later. So, um, Gran Torino. It's about uh, Clint Eastwood's character. Well, Clint. First off, Clint Eastwood is like really the, the main actor in this movie. There isn't really any other huge named actors or actresses in this movie. And they're like mostly new. A lot of like new um, Asian actors and actresses, and they're actually really really good. But I'll get into that later. So, um, Clint Eastwood, he plays this old man, and his wife has just died, and he and uh, he has a he has a son, and his son is like a douchebag, basically. I mean, he's he doesn't care about his dad really or anything. So, I mean, they don't have a good relationship, and he lives in this neighborhood where it used to be all like white people, and now he's the last white person in the neighborhood and the rest of them are Asian people and Clint Eastwood's character uh, Walt he was in the Vietnam War so he hates Asians <laughs> and well he hates he hates really like, everybody but I mean he he has a strong disliking for Asians because he was in the war obviously and um yeah he's a <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like the brief synopsis, like he, well, the brief synopsis is, uh, Walt, um, he has, he lives in this neighborhood with all these Asians, and the people next door, they're getting attacked by these gang members from this Asian gang, and he, um, befriends the boy, there's a boy that uh, lives next door, and they kind of, it kind of becomes like a father-son kind of relationship between them, and it's just kind of like him... It's kind of like uh, Clint Eastwood kind of making amends for all the things he's done wrong in his life and everything like that. And it's just kind of like him wanting to be like forgiven in a sense. And that's kind of like a brief synopsis. I don't want to give away too much. So uh, let's move on to like, the actual writing of this movie. The writing of this movie is probably some of the best uh, screen, writing, screen script writing in the industry out <laughs> right now. I mean, this is a serious movie. But you will be laughing through this movie, to like the whole movie. I mean, it's just an extremely funny movie because Clint Eastwood's character is so racist to everybody. And I mean, it's just, it's just really, really funny. And like, I, I haven't laughed in a movie like that in years, to be honest. I mean, I don't even laugh in the movies usually. But this movie, for something that isn't even supposed to be a comedy, is funny as hell. I mean, I really, really liked the writing in this movie. Um, another character... Well, let's, I'll move on to the characters now. So Clint Eastwood's character, extremely funny, as I said, because of his dialogue with the other characters. He practically he practically has a, a racist uh, uh, word in every single sentence he says in this movie, and it just makes it extremely funny. Um, he still has that, like, <laughs> kind of voice, you know? But, I mean, it works really well with his character. Um, another big character in this movie is the is a priest. Um, I forgot the priest's name. I don't think they I don't think they tell him say his name very often, so I don't remember. They just call him Father, obviously. And he's a young priest. He's like twenty seven or so. And and Walt's um, he's been bothering Walt a lot, and he wants him to get to confession because Walt's wife told uh, asked the priest to try to get him to confession. And I mean the priest is just uh, he's really persistent. He comes over to this house like every day asking him. And their dialogue between each other is just really, really great. I mean, it's just... The priest did a really good job. If, I don't know his, uh, the actor's name. Um, the, ne the next two big characters in this are the the um, sister. There's a Chinese girl, a teenage girl, that lives next door as well as a Chinese boy. The boy is who um, uh, Clint Eastwood be, be friends and kind of has like the father-son relationship with. And the girl, like, I mean, it's still kind of like a father-daughter kind of relationship. Because their their father isn't very strong-willed 
compared to Clint, and Clint is a very strong-willed person, or I should say Walt is a very strong-willed person in this, and they just can be, they just have a very good uh, chemistry together. And I haven't seen these other these uh, Asian people in any other of the mo any other movies, and they did an exceptional job. I thought they were really really good in this movie. I mean I w I mean they're just really good. Um, I hope this this movie gets nominated for like an Academy Award or something. I mean I think it's a really really good movie. Um, the score in this, it, the score isn't like anything too memorable, memorable, but um, it is a good score. There is a lot of good tunes in it. There is a lot of good uh, songs from our what I remember. I mean, there isn't like a, a whole lot of songs. I shouldn't say songs, but there isn't a whole like a, a lot of background music kind of per se in this movie, and it doesn't need it really. But I mean, it does. It does it when it is doing it. It does a good job in setting the mood and everything. Um. But yeah, this movie, I mean, it's something I've never really seen before. I haven't seen, to be honest, many Clint Eastwood movies. I haven't seen, like, Dirty Harry or anything like that, so I'll have to check those out now. But, um, this is a really, really good movie. Um, and enjoyability of this movie, it's a 10 out of 10. You will have a smile on your face for this whole movie. And I think it does a good job at showing realism and there, I mean, there is some gun fights in this movie, and it and it shows a lot of good realism between like gangs, gang violence, in uh, neighborhoods and things like that. And also, there's some other points in in the movie I'm not going to discuss because we're give away things. But um, yeah, it it just does a really good job of showing realism while having uh, fun doing it. And the screenwriting is some of the best in the industry, as I said right now. I mean, I really love the script. I would actually buy this movie on DVD, and I never buy DVDs. Never. I mean, I don't, I don't even own any movies, I don't think, on DVD. Maybe my parents own a few, but I have never pur purchased any. Um, I mean, talking about, like, actual movie DVDs. I've purchased anime, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's just... A really great movie. If I had to give this a score, I'd give it a four out of four. I think this is probably uh, in tie with Benjamin Button for my movie of the year. I think it's really great. It did come out in 2008 um, in some parts of the country, so that's why I'm saying it's movie of the year of 08. But it just it came out uh, world, or I should say, uh, nationwide in 09. So I mean, this movie is really good. You guys have to check this out. Um, four out of four. Great movie.